Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Grostvon. If you are having trouble with Loom, I wanted to just maybe talk about a few things. And that is when you originally went to Google and you typed in Loom, <clears throat> it gave you a couple of choices when you originally signed up and I'm not logged in right now. So I was just wanting to kind of bring up maybe from the get go, um, when you signed up, and put in all of your uh, profile information and everything like that, one of the questions it asked was, do you want the extension or the app? And I think people are having problems with the extension. So if you said you wanted the extension, it's up here in the top right in your Chrome browser area. And to me, it's just a weaker version of Loom. And so if your computer's crashing or it's not working, what I'd like to find out is if you can go to your profile and go down and click on desktop app and go ahead and get that one. It's going to ask you if you'd like to download it. I've already downloaded it, so I can see that I've downloaded it because if I go down to the bottom and type here to search and I start typing Loom, you can see I have the Loom app. Um, if you have the Loom app and you just feel like it's not working either, I might suggest uninstalling it and then once you uninstall it go to your profile page do what I just showed you here click desktop app and go ahead and download it again now it may be weird at first um, and act like um, you can't search for it down here and it may just show you a file folder and not that actual icon but <laughs> what I found out last night was if you sort of get out of this and you look at your desktop, it may actually, um, let me go ahead and minimize this. You may actually see, see this right here. Um, you may have to click it from here and sign in again with all of your username, password things. And hopefully you'll have the newest, greatest version of Loom. So if um, you're still having trouble, I actually was going to tell you there's another thing you can use and it's what I'm using right now and it is Screencast-O-Matic. Um, <clears throat> I don't think it's as user-friendly as Loom, but it definitely is a good plan B. And if that doesn't work, there's also Screencastify. So there are other things out there. Let me know if you need me to um, talk to you about any of them. Hope this was helpful.